Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Tyler Posey, and we're the cast of The Last Summer. Yay! Yeah! Woo! Uh, today, we're gonna be telling you a few of our firsts. Okay, first, first red carpet event. No. My first big red carpet was for Grown Ups too. Mm. It was in New York and it was really exciting. My whole family was there. Oh, cute. Yeah, mm. it was You're cute. You're really good. That's nice. Oh, thanks. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the upfronts in New York for Riverdale. Oh, CW. Yeah. 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 Was it before your what show was that? came out? What was that like? Yeah, Mayhem. Yeah. Pandemonium. <laughs> Mine was uh, about six yeah. months ago. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was the premiere of my first movie, which is Sierra Burgess is a Loser. Which yeah, yeah, six, six, six. But it was at the ArcLight Cinerama Dome on Sunset Boulevard, oh, which fun. is like the movie theater that I always go to to yeah. see like the big movies. Mm -hmm. And um, I took my sister. It was like right. That's crazy. It was right before her birthday. Mm -hmm. and we had a fun night. Oh, she, was, she was like getting on stage and like dancing with everybody. It was it was pretty nice. cool. I think I was ten. Mm -hmm. uh, it was for Made in, Made in Manhattan, and I was really, 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 really nervous yeah. on the way to yeah. to this red carpet. Um, I remember I felt like I was gonna throw up, and then no. uh, <laughs> and then I got out, and it was like the same, you know, all these people like wanting pictures, and uh, it was it was nuts. It was it was crazy. I didn't know how to answer questions back then. I would just like run on these tangents. And well, you were ten though. Yeah, it's, okay. it's a weird. It's, I, I feel like it's always such a weird experience, though. Oh, mine was I think I like Iron Man, one of the Iron Man movies, like a few oh, years yeah. ago. Oh, that's a good Sick. one. Cool, but I Iron worked Man, all day and I was perfect. really tired, and so I fell asleep during the movie. Oh, oh no! Uh, <laughs> yeah, Damn, we watched it you? later though. Toronto Film Festival, TIFF. Very first film called Vanishing on Seventh Street with like Hayden Christensen, uh, Tandy Newton, John Leguizamo. I mean, because I was already kind of performing doing music that young. Mm. So the cameras was, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> they were laughing at me. I was like, what's up? What's up, man? I'm here. You know, I was dancing. First time meeting each other. Today. Today. No. <laughs> well, yeah. This, is it really? Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is my first time meeting these guys. No, I've met everybody except I feel, Tyler. I yeah. feel like I've I feel like met everybody. everybody. Hold on. I've met everybody. First time us yeah. meeting. Yeah. Ooh, High yeah. five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We met. We met briefly cool. at a Comic Con. Yeah. 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 Jacob and I. We arrived on a Sunday night, but we didn't start filming till Tuesday. So yeah. all day Monday, we just hung out and got to know each other. We read through the entire script, all our scenes. Yeah. Like went to the gym together, went to go get food. Yeah, we spent uh, a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same. It was like Four a.m. Oh in the gym. Like, I'm <laughs> come back at like eight a.m. <laughs> I'm still tired. <laughs> First on set memory that comes to mind while filming the last summer. First on set memory was when uh, Bill asked me to jump into a lake. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. And he said, no, like, seriously. I was like, but I can't, I, I can't swim. He said, oh, no, we'll, we'll, it's fine. We'll get you. You'll be right by the boat. So every time I jumped in the lake, I was like, <laughs> like, like literally dying to get back to the boat. I was like, help me up, help me up, help me up. And everybody was just laughing. It was pretty funny. Wow, dude. Yeah. I wouldn't have so, laughed at you. I know. You know that scene we did, just that one shot walking down that little alleyway? Yep. I think that was it. I think I, I really enjoyed it. It was a one take one. wonder. One take wonder. We only did it like three times, too. So. Yeah, it's so almost a one take wonder. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Mine is probably uh, eating the barbecue. Yeah, that was, yep. that was memorable. That was memorable and gross. Yeah. <laughs> Wrigley. Oh, I mean, yeah. we had the yeah. best time at Wrigley. We spent like 20 hours there, which was pretty incredible. It was just our crew, and um, we were up in the scoreboard at night, and just looking at the completely empty stadium was very surreal. Uh, I gotta say, when uh, when Foster gets, he gets what's coming to him, and he gets the drinks all thrown on him by all the girls. So for that, uh, what's actually cool is the <laughs> director, Bill Binley, his daughter was one of the girls that threw it on me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we did a couple rehearsals, and I was like, hey, I got it, I can react. And then when you get the liquid, which to this day, I actually don't know what the drink was. <laughs> like, it was just some sticky, like, Beer, like substance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. That was uh, that was pretty memorable. <laughs> I feel like I yeah. still feel it. Uh, Ricky was really rich and had a Corvette. Oh, I saw that, bro. Yeah. How was that? It, it was, was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. When uh, they said cut, I was like, let me, let me, let me get in the driver's seat yeah. real quick. Yeah, I, you should have. Did he get to rip around? I don't know if I, I was, I was pretty respectful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we were in like a tiny I little neighborhood. We only lost one. I think, I think, I think I zoomed once. Yeah. I don't know. First time you were recognized in public. This young girl, she just started crying. I didn't really get it. Aww. And I, at first, I was like, "Why are you crying?" Like, I'm just so happy to see you. You inspired me so much. And then it was like, then it was like, "Oh wow!" Like you know, you never really know the impact you have on people because it's like, mm -hmm. you know, what, like when you're just simply just doing what you love. Like you just, we just doing our everyday thing. Like we don't, 
think about it, but somebody out there really, really inspired by it. I, I'll tell you a cool, cool interaction with yeah. a fan that I've had. Um, I was actually just recently at a convention in Washington. This couple actually proposed to us, like in front of us, wow. in front of me and Cole. And they were both what? dressed up, like one of them was dressed up as JK, one of them was dressed up as Archie, and they no. legitimately wow. proposed. Really so right. congrats, if you guys are watching this, congratulations. <laughs> I can say mine, because I've only been recognized once. Uh, nice. <laughs> I'm about to do this, this movie called Hush Hush, which is based off this really Ooh. popular book series. Yeah. And the character I play is a fallen angel called Patch. And this past Christmas, I, I was in Paris for Christmas, and I was mm. walking around with my brother, and these two French girls came up to me, and they were like, patch, patch. They started like chasing us around yeah. the Eiffel Tower. And that's funny, because your movie's not even out yet, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. The first show you ever binge watched. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good start. one. The Office. The Office was mine. Nice. Yeah. yeah. The, the British oh, one. Good. The British one. Good. Ooh. Yeah. My man. Yeah. <laughs> Probably The Walking Dead. I was really into The Walking Dead. Sick. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really, really into it. Have you guys seen uh, Friday Night Lights before? That's what, I, that was mine. So Friday Night, is it really? Yeah. So Friday Night Lights, I got the complete box set. So a thing called a box set is before. <laughs> <laughs> I got the complete box set, and I, I'm the oldest of seven kids. I have a lot of uh, siblings, so my, all my siblings, we would all watch all the episodes together. And then I remember the last episode, I just watched it with my mom, and the first thing we said was, what do we do now? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. That's an epic show. We cry, we sit here and bad. we cry. I was gonna say Friday Night Lights, but I recently rewatched Grey's Anatomy mm. from the beginning. Nice. Isn't that still I'm on? Big fan. Yeah. 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 And Dexter. Crazy. I've kind of oh, been Dexter going back and yeah. forth. Crazy, Love crazy. Dexter. Oh my Dexter God. was so good. Super good, dude. Um, probably VOC when I was like 12. Sick, yeah. I was obsessed yeah. with Seth Cohen, so. Maybe the Rugrats. Oh, well, we're, really, really we're going binge. way back then, right? Eh? Binge, right? Yeah. No, not back binge then. Binge is at one time. <clears throat> yeah. Probably can binge so so now, probably Dexter. Yeah. The first celebrity you ever met. My first celebrity that I met was a rugby player in New Zealand, mm. Sonny Bill Williams. Sweet. Oh, really? Legend. That's cool. He was like my idol as a kid, too. Oh, uh, Yeah. Hey, I'm tripping. I think it was John Cena. Oh, that's, that's sad. such a that's good sad. one. That's so cool. Cause my grandma, the time is up. My time is now. Yeah, yeah you can't, can't see me. You, my time. Yeah, because my grandmother used to run a radio station in, in Milwaukee, and when when the WWE would come in town, they'd be on their first radio station. So it was a bunch of celebrities coming in and out of there. And I remember John Cena. I was like, oh, and I was super little. Yeah, I was that's like, sick. Oh my that's cool. God. He was like, hey man, how you doing? And I was like, you're doing pretty <laughs> 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 my peace sign. I've been doing a peace sign. That's a pretty impression. Like, hey, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, the first dude that I met was um, Tom Hanks. My dad is an actor also, and he, he did a TV show with him, and I was four years old, and my mom was pregnant with my brother, so she couldn't like watch me. So he took me to Florida with him, and I hung out on set with him and, uh, and Tom Hanks. And I think Ron Howard was directing the episode of the thing he was doing. So it was like, and I was like at one. Video Village, like this little tiny dude with these canned headphones on. Yeah, that's really it was that's cool. Really that's really cool. It was really cool. I was really young, but I remember meeting Ronald Reagan, which was a really cool Ooh, wow. one. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You must have been. I was tiny. Yeah, I was really young. But he gave me a jelly bean jar, which nice. I always nice. remember. Do you still have that? You still got it? Yeah, I do. No so, way. Wow. Yeah. It's it That's was a good really one. Cool. That's yeah, really it was a good one. Thanks, yeah, mom and dad. I, <laughs> I guess uh, maybe Rosie O'Donnell. Okay. Oh, how? She did, like, Ooh, she was an arc on the show I was on. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a good one. I, when I was 13 years old, my cousin and I went to the Knicks game, and it was the first ever game when LeBron was on the Heat that he was playing at Madison Square Garden, and up on courtside were Drake and Maxwell. Maxwell was an R&B singer. I didn't really know who Drake was at the time. It was right when he was like coming out, though. So I was like, Yo, Maxwell. So my cousin and I, who's the same age as me, we go up to him, and I'm like, yo, Max, so I gotta say, man, big fan. And he's like, oh, appreciate it, man, appreciate it. And then my cousin, on the spot, says, oh yeah? Name his last album. Oh, wow. Oh. And I'm like. What? Your cousin sucks. That's yeah. Wow. yeah. And I hit him, and I was like, Black Summer Night's Dream. And Max was like, oh, sh I thought you were screwing with me. First summer job, I washed cars for like a, a yeah. couple of weeks. That counts. Yeah. Oh. I washed dishes um, at my mom's friend's restaurant. Wasn't during the summer, it was just for like three years. Dish pig. <laughs> after school, because she wouldn't let me use my savings from working, so. I was a counselor at a basketball camp in Massachusetts that my little brother went to. I grew up riding horses, and my best friend and I had a tack trunk and a boot cleaning business. What's a tack? Wait, and so a tack trunk is basically a large wooden box where you keep your saddle and your boots and basically everything that gets really dirty and smelly. Mm. And we'd clean it out because nice. we're very type A and organized. Nice. And it was actually very therapeutic. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 definitely too when I was on the road. That was like probably a dope summer for me. It's great tour days. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah. it was dope. It was 
dope, dope. Dope, dope. I was like, what's up, man? <laughs> what's up, baby? I love you. I love you. I I'm love you. <laughs> I worked at a paintball park for like two summers in a row. Uh, yeah, it was cool. I was, I was like, a, I was a referee. Um, it's like, the coolest. That's just It was cool. really cool. That's sick. That's yeah. fun, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. I had this jersey and it was covered in like paint and sweat and it was, smelled awful. You would have done a really good job cleaning it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <What time was? laughs> All right, guys, we're the cast of The Last Summer. It's coming yeah. out May 3rd on Woo! Netflix. Make sure you go see it. Thanks for watching.